Hello and welcome to the Cartoon Catastrophe. Now today, I want to talk about something for my glorious return that involves flying monkeys, lost media, and a lot of terrified children. Now, while that might sound like a bootleg Wizard of Oz movie, we're going to be talking about something even better. Now this episode will focus on a piece of lost media from what I like to call the Sesame Street Trilogy. Now this isn't all of Sesame Street's lost media, but it's some of my personal favorites, my personal three. Those being Snuffy's parents get a divorce, Cracks, and of course, the Wicked Witch of the West lost episode. Well honestly, I don't think we should stall any longer. Let's. Just get right into it. Let's take a look at this very interesting, weird, and somewhat questionable to why it was lost piece of media. Let's go. This episode first aired on February 10th, 1976, and starred Margaret Hamilton. Hamilton reprised her famous role of the Wicked Witch of the West. The episode in question, episode 847, doesn't seem that really controversial. It has a plot that seems completely logical and normal for the character and any episode of Sesame Street. I honestly don't see how this is apparently terrifying. The central plot of the episode involves the witch losing her magic broom whilst flying over Sesame Street. It winds up in the hands of David, who refuses to return it skeptical towards the witch's intentions. As a result, she threatens to turn both Big Bird and David into inanimate objects, a feather duster and a basketball respectively for each character. She also suggests that she would make it rain inside Mr. Hooper's store if the broom was not returned. Out of all the Sesame Street residents, the only one to react favorably toward the witch is Oscar, even to the point of developing a crush on her. Although, Big Bird eventually also warms up to the witch and is sad when she leaves, comically dropping her broom for a second time as the episode ends. So in the days that followed the original airing, it received a huge backlash from angry parents whose kids were apparently traumatized by the Wicked Witch of the West. Perfect. So the Children's Television Workshop went back and was like... Uh, we need to rescreen this because this doesn't make sense. And the tests really didn't prove anything. And eventually it was just shelved away from the negative backlash and was never seen again. So now, once again, the lost media community is on a hunt for another piece of Sesame Street media. It's not going to be as hard to find as something like Snuffy's parents get a divorce or cracks, but it's not gonna be easy, since it only aired, like, once. Honestly, the scariest thing that I've ever seen from Sesame Street was the original Snuffy design. That is scary. If that Snuffleupagus tried to hug me, I would run very, very quickly. Oh, and the same actor Margaret Hamilton also appeared on an episode of Mr. Rogers as the Witch, which of course received no backlash, even though he's the whitest and nicest guy on earth other than Tom Kenny, it still received no backlash whatsoever. That... that makes no logical sense. Yeah. Well, that's really it for today, but... Thank you so much to Richard Canipe, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, for requesting this episode all the way back in like March, February, I might have even been before that. Thank you and this is the return. Um, I'm currently still working on getting my mic all set up, I have this whole thing that I'm using right now as well. Um, I don't know how good it's gonna sound, I'm in a very echoey place when I'm filming this, so I'm trying to work on that, but bear with me as I get everything ready. I hope we get some more videos out and stuff like that, so just look out for them. I might release more since it's the summer. I might release less. I don't know, but thank you once again. Have a great day, guys, and finally back. See you guys later.